When I was a little girl, I loved ballet and making models out of cereal boxes. I wanted to be an actor or a dancer or an artist. Had you asked me age 15, I would have no idea what an engineer was. And I'm now studying engineering, mechanical engineering in Bristol. I want to send out a message about our attitudes towards engineering and address the fact that the majority of girls out there don't make the same decision as me. As a society, we need to work together to create a spark of interest in engineering. We need to make engineering the cool subject that it is in order to create the right environment for young girls to have the confidence to explore it. So how did I become interested in engineering? By chance, really. My parents advised that I take science A-levels, so I picked physics. I quite liked the idea of learning about something that I knew not everybody else would know. During one of my physics lessons, my teacher advertised an engineering taster course. I liked that engineering was a fast-moving field and that it had a lot of contact with other people and it was project-based. So I went for it and I found it was actually really exciting. This microphone here, for example. Colleagues of mine in Bristol are currently doing research to make new microphones together with biologists inspired by the hearing systems of a fly, which is way more advanced than our hearing systems. And these new microphones will be able to detect from really far away exactly where a sound is coming from, which has phenomenal applications, hearing aids for one example. There is a massive gender gap in science and engineering, and it's one that we are currently all fueling. These subjects are seen as techy and complicated subjects. And many people, especially women, shy away from finding out more because they're scared of not understanding the answers. And that's a massive shame because it's marginalising engineering. It's becoming something that we don't talk about. I recently watched an interview with David Attenborough where he was asked how he became interested in, national, in natural science. And he said, give me a child who's not fascinated by natural science. The question should be what stops most people being fascinated by it. And I think the same is true for engineering. Children are natural engineers, they're inquisitive, they're creative. Give them a bucket and spade and see what they come up with. But at some point, society talks to them and tells them that engineering is uncool. And I think this is a particular deterrent for girls. I think girls, particularly at a young age, are extremely susceptible to wanting to fit in. And having an interest for something seen as nerdy doesn't fit that bill. I also think that girls often look for a social subject to be interested in, and by that I mean something that they can discuss with their peers and with their friends. I think reading a good piece of literature leads to those kind of discussions in the way that engineering should, but often doesn't. I've started going in to schools to talk to 11-year-olds about engineering. I showed them the vending machine that I designed and made in my first year, and I talked about a water supply project I've done in Benin in West Africa through Engineers Without Borders. And I gave loads of other examples, and they were fascinated, they loved it, they asked incredibly insightful questions, and it went really well. So I feel like I sparked a bit of an interest, and as a society, we have the responsibility to hold on to that and to encourage it. It doesn't mean knowing everything or being an expert, it means having the interest to learn something. So as an example of the kind of attitude, if a child comes home one day and says, Mummy, today an engineer came into my class. Why aren't you an engineer? Instead of, oh, I'm not interested, or, oh, it's not for me, sweetie, that's what very clever people do. Mummy should answer, oh, wow, that's really interesting. Mummy wishes she knew more about that because it's a really important thing. What did you learn? We need to not be afraid of not understanding the answers to questions but ask questions when the opportunity shows itself. A while ago, I met an elderly guy from Texas. I asked him what he did, and he said he was a chemical engineer. And that could have been the end of the conversation. Well, I asked him what he did as a chemical engineer, and he said he produces sulfuric acid. Okay. And that could have been the end of the conversation. And a while later, my friend asked, so, what's the most exciting thing happening in the sulfuric acid industry at the moment? <laughs> and then he began to talk. He talked about how sulfuric acid is a catalyst in the production of octane for motors, and how oil prices are affecting their production, and how their industry as a whole is affected by global trends. And I learned something amazing. So we need to hold on to this spark that we all had as children. And we need to create a culture of curiosity 
and not be afraid to ask questions so that we can create the right environment for young girls to have the confidence to expand their horizons and understand and appreciate the amazing world that we live in.